Well, here we are. We're um, in the woods at the Woodall Spa. I think it's called Ostler's Plantation. And uh, me and uh, the old boy there were just having a bit of a stroll around. Um, it's, uh, what's the time? it's about half past one in the afternoon. It's a bit cool, about 50 degrees. That's Fahrenheit, that is. And uh, I like coming here because it's fairly quiet. There are some other dog walkers about, but uh, it's a big wood, so you tend not to bump into them too much. Where is he? There he is, look. There's the Herbert. Are we off? Okay. Hey, say hello. There's a good boy. Come on. Well, right, let's go for a stroll. Oh look, he stopped again. There's a the thing. Come on, you. This particular piece of woodland um, out near uh, where well, it actually borders or is or used to be uh, part of uh, RF Woodall Spa um, and there are some old uh, revetments and whatnot still here uh, I'll show you those when we, when we get a bit close but uh, I think I know it was operational during the Second World War um, possibly uh, part of uh, the 617 Squadron setup and um, I do believe, I mean, might be worth googling this, that it was a um, a uh, bloodhound uh, surface to air uh, missile base um, in the uh, at some point. I don't exactly know when, but uh, as long as I've lived around here, uh, it's just been. Uh, a woodland but it's a good one for walking about in it's fairly quiet you tend not to get too many people plenty of lunatic dog walkers like myself I always found something tasty I better go sort this out okay so we're getting to we've got concrete underfoot now uh, underneath all these these all these pine needles the concrete now and what we have here are some of the remains quite overgrown uh, and they're on a it's a concrete base there uh, there's some ones in better condition a bit further around and uh, we get to those fairly soon boo, 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 boo. Okay, we've just come down there and we're onto this bit now. Uh, large expanse of concrete, and as you can possibly see, I'll just walk up to one. There are still some uh, tie downs. Yeah. Uh, there's quite a few. In fact, they're quite they're all over the site, so there's obviously uh, something quite large in this area that needs to be secured stop it moving it's quite it's quite big so I don't know what it was but if this was uh, uh, well he's off he's had enough of me uh, yakking he's off for an investigate There's obviously something that smells nice on that log because he's going to uh, he's going to water it possibly Okay, we're still wandering the way through, and there we go. Even some of the uh, some of the buildings have survived. Not many, though. Um, I think I can see some more up there, so we'll head up in that direction. We'll see what else we can find. Right, you might not be able to. 
make yourself it's a large concrete pan area over there and uh, in the distance there I can see some more uh, some more brickwork oh he's off already to have a look see if his compass points him in the right direction and it does so uh, we'll go that way okay so here's some remains um, it, uh, judging by the shape of it, it would have had a, a corrugated iron roof. So we're talking about a, a brick-fronted uh, Nissan hut design, um, and possibly uh, by the uh, by the hinges I can see on the door frame there, it would have uh, double doors on it. So possibly some kind of a garage or workshop. But, but who knows? Uh, the trees have ripped up some concrete over there. Um, but uh, like I say, it's been a been a long time since anything happened here. Okay, okay, here's another one. Um, we've got uh, quite a thick brick wall in front of an entrance. So we've got a blast wall there, then, haven't we? And Gingy, by the way, the brickwork's been built up, and we've got a uh, building in the middle of it. Once again, a uh, a, um, a rounded roof on it and a built up uh, blast wall all around so um, maybe some kind of armament storage I'm only guessing could be anything couldn't it could be the officer's toilet for all we know but when they've had a curry night right here we are at the other end of the building uh, there's a path down down the side of the blast wall and round the corner and we've got windows at this end double windows all the way through with doors at the end so only small sort of compartments so uh, might have been some kind of weapons or munition storage it would make sense having blast walls around right so Oh, he's going in for an investigate. Uh, yeah, and there we go, look. Checking the place out for IEDs. That's my boy. Oh, he's found a blue hat. Oh, the excitement. I always expect a trip over a body when I'm wandering through here, you know. It's one of those places where you could, uh, where you could certainly hide one for a long time if you were that way inclined. Okay, we're coming up on one here. Um, once again, thick concrete, surrounded by earth. And there's three individual ones there. And what appears to be the remains of one in front of it. And these still have doors on, or well, one of them does. So, possibly, did you buy the bottles and cans? Still in use. Uh, that one with the doors and the posh padlocks, possibly by the foresters. It's still intact. Still in quite good condition. Yeah, once again, a wall in between each one makes me think of arm armaments uh, or weapon storage. Definitely looked like these two were in use. Um, I've got a nice big thick door on it. I would imagine the foresters are possibly using this then. Oh, there he is again. Let's just have a walk up here around this one. So we can see, apart from all trees, well, it is a wood. There's another large mound of earth over there, or several. So obviously the remains of some buildings. 
Okay, can we run the back of these two? So they're not very big, but large garage size, I would say. Okay, nice big strong door on the back of that with the security padlocks. And this one itself is open. So we'll see if we have a snooty in here. Not whether you can see, but it's a, uh, it's a bit of a mess. But uh, quite large. Lots of ventilation holes. Yeah. So, um, mm, concrete roof. Well, anyway, right, let's uh, wander on out again. Oh, look, there he is waiting for me. Right, we're on the main road, uh, back up to the car park now, or the main path. So, uh, those buildings are over there. He's about worn out, poor old boy. I need a cup of tea and some biscuits. Hey, what do you think? Hey, what do you think? He's a bit camera shy, I don't know why. Oh, come on then, let's go. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Yeah, it looks to like me he's a bit tired now, poor old boy. Now, if you wonder why he limps, yeah, when we got him, um, the kennels he'd been in, he'd been abused, as it were, and his... Uh, front right uh, front right leg the paw is is very sensitive uh, so uh, he finds it uncomfortable to uh, walk on concrete or stones or gravel or anything like that but sand and uh, soft earth like you find in the woodland uh, is ideal for him uh, and with him being a male dog he likes to sniff and pee up everything I do like woodland walks. Quite in here today, you can't hear, well I can't hear any birds at all. Normally it's full of uh, things tweeping and squawking and squirrels and whatnot. But it's quiet today. Just uh, a few dog walkers and me and him. And uh, at that point I shall, uh, I shall sign off and uh, and um, go home in time for a nice cup of tea and I think a plate full of biscuits like us uh, like us Englishmen like if you know what I mean ta-ta for now